Hello, today's color inspiration is wax flower. This is color number 41 in our 42 color set. And you will find that in our sampler set or as an open stock pan of paint that you can choose to add to your collection. This is a mixture of fuchsia and chocolate, two of our foundation colors coming together. So you got this bright fuchsia color here. Let's see if I get that close up to the camera. Now this bright fuchsia color and we're, I don't know, would you call it toning it down a little bit with chocolate, making it not so violent pink. <laughs> and here are a couple photos I took of some wax flower I could find at the store. I removed the background so it looked cleaner. And as you can see, like even though the petals are pink, you have that dark, what I call wax flower center. And then you have the speckle on the stems. So you can really play with this color regardless of what petal colors you choose. Now I use my photograph to create an outline that you are welcome to print off, trace, transfer to watercolor paper, whatever, and practice painting your wax flowers. You can make them a lighter pink. I'm just showing you some Google search images. One of my favorites are the yellow wax flowers. I really think that pops nice against this wax flower color, it's very pretty. So this is probably a color I'll wanna try. Wax flowers are traditionally used to make floral crowns. They're a great bridal flower, very hardy, piney, woodsy. But you see how you have that kind of pinkish brown center there? So if you do a Google image search or whatever your favorite image reference, you will have a lot of fun painting this flower and you can customize the petal colors to go with whatever project it is you wanna do. Here's one I painted earlier where I just played around with fuchsia, wax flower, a little bit of salal for the green stems. And eh, I think it's all right. <laughs> it could probably use a little more work and that's why I'm excited to paint it again, but maybe a slightly different version. Now wax flowers are tiny, tiny little flowers, even smaller than what's captured in this picture. But I find it's easier to paint something when you blow it up. And if this flower isn't big enough for you, we have a second image, like the example I painted, where we really blew it up. So you can play around with those, have fun, and I'll just pop in a couple pictures with the blog article for Wax Flower for this week.